Hey guys. Well, I think you you have a a wrench next to your name, so I'm assuming. Hi friends. Okay, so like I'm very much not streaming. This is things. Well, hello, friends. Um, so uh, I wanted to come on. Is it not? Oh, it is picking up. I want to make sure it's picking up my voice. Um, I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys because it's been so long since I have shown my face on YouTube. Um, and figured we could speak up and hang out for a little bit. Hopefully, that sounds like fun. Hi, guys. Hi, Adrian. Um. Heather, I am alive. Hello. Oh, okay. Uh, is that what it's is that the phone? Is it better now? It looks like it's better now. I never know which way to turn that thing. But Test it, 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 test what? Doing it a lot. Why is it being such a dick? Why is it being such a dick? Take now it. it seems like it is better. Why is it being such a dick? Why is it being such a dick? Why is it being such a dick? It seems like it is better now because it is catching every word that I'm saying. Thank you. Thank you. I will be here all week. It's echoing. It's literally, is it, I don't know why it would be echoing. It shouldn't be echoing. I don't know. It's literally impossible to do a stream without having like 6,000 things go wrong. I've kind of just become like super accustomed to it. Um, cool. I'm glad it's not uh, being a douche. Or at least you fixed it from being a douche. Sorry, guys. I like decided I've like gone live on um, YouTube like twice and um, – I always like every single streaming service is always super different so like it's always a matter of like all right how does this one work how does this one work how does this one work and so um youtube's easy but it's a little different so i'm gonna put some makeup on because i keep looking at my tired ass face and i'm not liking what i'm seeing hello though guys i'm so excited to uh to be here and to hang out with you guys uh, Annie, oh my gosh, you know it's so funny. So okay, so I got my hair dyed yesterday, and we were talking about how it looks like in the Lorax, um, the truffle trees, like it's like a a giant fluffy craziness. Hi, Sylvia. All right, so I w I wanted to do um a stream today one because it's been so long, so I thought that it would be a lot more fun to do something that was like interactive and like you know like live it's so I have so much more fun doing live videos than I do recorded because I get to interact and talk to you guys so much and personally I think it's super uh super fun hey Emma my narwhal nation's here I love you guys um so I wanted to do that before doing anything else just because I know it's been such a long time and it's definitely, you know, weird to come back from taking such like a long break to come see you guys. Actually, you know, I'm going to post on Instagram really quick too. Hey, Tanya. Sylvia, it's so much fun. It's like, it's so much more fun for me at least like, and to just, and I'm sure like viewers and stuff just to be able to watch like and talk in person and stuff like that. Hi, Wendy from Scotland. That's amazing. I was um 
I did a stream with my friend Gloria who lives in Scotland and uh, it was so funny because it was like 10 o'clock at night for her and she shows out the window and it looks like it's 3 in the afternoon and it totally weirded me out. Hi, bub. Okay. Hello, guys. I'm going to be going. Actually, I'm not even going to be going. I am already live on YouTube if you want to come hang out with me. Um, we are going to be doing some makeup. I look like trash cans, so I need to fix that. <laughs> All right, now I gotta figure out. It's been so long. It's been forever. Let's see here. I'm just gonna link to my just YouTube channel, I guess, because I don't even know what the video. I really hope that works. See preview. Ooh, wait, no, I could. Oh no, click this. Share copy now i can have like a direct link i am technological technologically savvy live put a little thing swipe so there's slightly a filter all right cool we're good i want to go to ireland too thank you guys It's, you know what? You put makeup on the other day, Sadine, and I was like, I gotta do it. Thank you, Tanya. This is Bub. If you ever, if you guys, okay, so we're gonna be doing lives, like, a lot more. If you ever see a cat come up here on the back of my chair, it is always going to be Bub. If you see a cat in this back corner, it is almost always going to be Kiki. And if you see Luna in here, I'm gonna be really surprised, because Luna is, she lives downstairs, so... This one is always, um, always bub. Emma, I can't believe you're awake. Your, your sleep schedule, man. You are crazy. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I put, I put primerizer on. You are, I'm okay when it's your face. It's when it's your butt that I don't love. Um, I'm sorry, Christina. Okay, so let me, let me tell you guys, where have I been? Um, so March pandemic, everything starts. This is what I can't, I can't with this. Um, everything starts like the world just completely explodes, right? My immediate thought is, oh my gosh, I am going to be this like beak. I don't want to say beacon of hope, but like this, like place, I'm going to be this happy YouTube channel and everyone can go there and like you, and, and it'll be this place where, where, you know, everyone is having such a tough time and they'll be able to hang out and it'll be so happy. This is this. Um, quickly realized that I was not putting my own needs and my own mental health into the picture uh, and decided since I had not take I've never really taken a break from YouTube in all of the like over a decade that I've been on here I've taken some breaks but it always involves me still thinking what am I gonna do what am I gonna put up what is this 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 and it's always thinking about it so I was like you know what I need to just stop because I'm not enjoying it anymore. I'm getting upset if things aren't going the way that I want. I'm getting upset if it's not getting traction that I want. And I was really like like beating myself up and putting up these videos, not because I wanted to, but because I felt like I had to. Um, and that's not a, that's not the way to, to be, really. So stop doing YouTube for since, I think I put up a, one video in April and then just peaced out. And I apologize, because I know I said nothing. Um, over the, the last, what is it, May, June, July, August, four and a half months, I have been doing um, streaming on Amazon a lot, which actually, um, if, you, if you don't shop on Amazon, don't worry. There, no worries. But I'm going to post this. I'm trying to hit a follower goal on Amazon. Um, and I really, if you have Amazon and you shop there, I would really, it would mean absolutely the entirety of the world to me. I thought that I saved something. Apparently I did not. Um, oh, wait, yeah, wait, I did. It's in the description. So, I, so Amazon started doing streaming stuff. And so I've been working with Amazon for the past eight or nine months. And um, so I do a lot of streaming on there and it literally, it, it's everything from like 
I've been streaming Paper Mario on there, which side note is an amazing game. If you like, if you're like me and you got real into Am um, Amazon, <coughs> if you got really into Animal Crossing when you first started, um, or when it first came out in March, and then you needed something else to do, I've been like living for Paper Mario. But I also do beauty streams. I do um, cooking streams. We do all sorts of stuff on there, and it's super fun. Um, is it better than Twitch? I like Twitch because Twitch allows me to just be like super silly like I am on here. Amazon is more so like if we're like top products or like if you're, if, it's more like if QVC was like a live stream platform, if that makes sense. Um, and so we've been, so I've been doing that. I've also been like my, my absolute like reason for making it through all of this has been uh, the discord that um, Paul just linked to um, which has been absolutely amazing if you guys need like a like a community like the, the reason that I've loved discord so much is because it reminds me of like 2010 YouTube when everyone was like super friends there was no competition and everyone got to know each other and it was just like a great place and that's what the discord has become is it's this fantastic place with these amazing people and I've gotten to become such good friends with so many people on there. I mean, we've got Sylvia, Joy, um, Sunine, Emma, Tanya. I'm seeing a lot of you guys that are from uh, Annie from from uh, Discord, Narwhal Nation. There's so much good support. I was up until like two in the morning talking to everybody last night about Reddit, <laughs> like this this Reddit called um, Disney Vacation. <laughs> it's honestly amazing um yeah so there's been that and then there's been of course narwhal nation which is my patreon um and twitch subscribers which is just super just super 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 the, the most amazing people and um then me also like kind of figuring out what else i like to do because there's like like this tie-dye shirt for example like i've been doing a lot of crafting and trying to learn about like outside of makeup, what, what am I? Because for a long time I was like, I don't know. I don't like literally only do makeup and I have no other like outlet. So for the last couple of months, I've learned tie dye stuff, which has been really cool. Um, I've learned resin. This is my cup I made for my brother. Um, and what else have I learned? I've gotten watercolor stuff, which I'm still trying to figure out how to do. I've been learning, I'm like totally blanking. I've been trying to use my Cricut more, which is being a butt. I think I'm gonna have to get a new one, which is dumb. Sylvia, I gotta actually, you know what? Sylvia, do you know how to draw a truffle a tree? <laughs> I need a picture of me as a truffle a tree. I will commission you to draw me one. <laughs> We need to make picture. We need to make um, shirts as me of me as a truffle tree. <laughs> What's resin like? Oh my gosh! Okay, so resin is super fun, but like, okay, Emma, no crochet. <laughs> Crocheting was a failure. I wish it wasn't. Maybe Emma, maybe like you can you will do like um, a Zoom call and you could like teach me in person because I could not get that one. That one was a fail. Uh, resin is super fun however it is the mess it's like think about if you were trying to do an art project with honey that's pretty much what it is it's literally honey it's thick and goopy and gross um, but it turns out super super cool hi Ron I'm happy you're here you come home from your bachelor party oh my goodness bachelors oh how was that Please teach me. I have all this stuff. Oh, my gosh. I have all this stuff. I just don't, like, I don't know. I got a little bit of it, and then I just failed. No, yeah. It definitely, I had to, I'm lucky that I had extra room to do it because originally it was taking up, like, honestly, the entirety of my kitchen table. So it's definitely something where you need a lot of room and then like you have to go through all of these gloves because it's what is in my eyeball ew that was weird 
once you know how yeah see that's the thing is that I kept trying and I would get like one line and then I couldn't figure out how to like turn it and keep going because I want to because they like I've seen so many of those cute okay anime help me out here what are they called the cute little the little crochet dudes animiguri am mm. Mm. you know Does resin smell? Yes, you need ventilation. I have like a, a respirator mask. Um, it's very, it's very, uh, it, it has like a fumes to it. So it's it's important to, and a guru, guru me, and a guru me. Thank you, Sylvia. <laughs> um, but yeah, for resin, for sure, you need, oh wait, why am I using that? I wanted... I'm like not paying attention. So it's something that would be good if you could do it in the garage. Like once once it gets cooler here, because right now it's literally like a thousand degrees. No, it's like 111 every day. Um, I know that sounds really specific, but I swear every time I look at what temperature it is in Phoenix, Emmy Gurumi, thank you. I needed the I need I needed <laughs> the um syllables. Yeah, it can catch fire. Too. It's it's a it's a thing. I have a lot of fun with it, but it definitely is not something you can, you can go into blind. Like you need to like really look at what you're doing and be like, hey, uh, let's like learn. Ugh, you know when you put foundation on and it just feels like it's not blending into your skin and it's just sitting there and you're just like, like your face feels like a crappy canvas. Also, I don't know my eyeballs. Why? I feel so tired. Phonetic spelling, yes, thank you. <laughs> Hi from Spain, hello, thank you so much. I'm super happy that you're here. It's 102 in Mesa, dude, it's, I'm in Gilbert. Whoa, voice. <clears throat> um, I'm in Gilbert and it is, one second, 102 also. I don't know why I thought it'd be that different. We're like 20 minutes away from each other. <laughs> but, okay, now now the number of the week seems to be 109, but I swear almost every 111 is on there. Um, it always is very high. But we've had some cool rain. We've had some cool storms lately. Thank goodness we didn't have any last year. Not fun. When you learned to crochet, you had to stay determined. Joy, yeah, you're Joy. You're amazing at crochet. Joy made Violet um, a Minecraft uh, creeper beanie and it's so cute and when v lures it she literally looks like this little she reminds me of like a 90s movie like oh my god you know what she reminds me of even though i don't think they were beanies in this is she reminds me of um is it it takes two is that the movie with the olsen twins and uh Chris, kirstie alley she reminds me of like a little tomboy it's the cutest thing oh it's hot as hell everywhere that's good <laughs> hi knives how's your mental health lately been able to stay positive uh actually that was something else that i was i wanted to talk about and it's something that i definitely um want to do some videos on if you guys are interested but i recently like a month ago started doing teletherapy um i i did therapy a little bit at the beginning of this year and i totally phoned it in and didn't have a good therapist and it was crap started again about a month ago and it's been amazing and i've been um did i just out that person what no they said they asked me how's your mental health been um <laughs> and so i wanted to to see if you guys would be interested in like therapy vid videos because i i feel like we all talk about doing um we all talk about mental health and how important it is, but there's still such this huge stigma around therapy. And I am 100,000% guilty of falling into that stigma of thinking, you know, I have no problem with therapy, but I don't need it. I don't need it. I can figure stuff out by myself. I am the most guilty of being that way. And finally, in July, I went, you know what? No, I can't do it. I need I need something. Um, started doing therapy, and my first session, I knew I had a good therapist. My first session, I said something about how 
all I do is focus on my weight and I focus on how all of my weight is in my stomach and it makes me so upset and this, 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 this. And she goes, that sounds like shame. And I started bawling, like literally full on bawling on the phone because I was like, oh my God, I never realized what I was doing all of the time is literally shaming myself because of how I look and how I'm not happy with myself. And um, just this whole, this whole time has just been a lot of realizations of like why I do the things that I do, where they stem, and getting like more than anything, getting like a name to it, getting like an actual emotional name that I never thought about that connects to like this is what you're feeling like this this is the emotion that you have your you know or shame or like vulnerability is another one that we've really been um trying to to uh like figure out and that one's been really hard <laughs> Emma that's amazing congratulations that's awesome. I started doing um, calorie, like just writing down everything I'm eating and doing a little bit of like calorie counting and stuff. Um, and that's been super helpful for me. I've lost like four pounds probably, but I'm not being like super strict or anything. So I'm not like, it is what it is, but I'm just trying to be more mindful. Oh my gosh. Okay, do I have something? My face feels like super, I don't know, it's like super dry or something today. So hard to find a therapist who isn't focused on fixing specific things. I totally get it. It's tough. And it's a lot of the times the things that's really tough about it too is the fact that you literally have to like sometimes sh treat it like dating. We were talking about this um, on Twitch last night and how sometimes you like honestly have to treat finding a good doctor, finding a good therapist like um, ow, like you're dating somebody and sometimes it doesn't work and then you have to like make that decision of like, I need to find somebody else. I've been using BetterHelp, which I know is like the big, like they do a lot of sponsorships. I wish they would sponsor me, but they do not. I pay for it. Um, but they have a really cool thing because you can, um, if you don't, like if you, it's not working with your therapist, you don't even have to have like an awkward conversation with them. You just like, you say, nope need a new one different one nope so that's what um is super awesome about that one is that you have the capability to change on the spot if it's not working out which is honestly so helpful especially because like if I mean there's been times where I've, I've gone to therapy in person and it's like if it didn't work for me I wouldn't know where to go like if, if like if you don't like that person it's not as easy as like it is with um, with better help, which is what I kind of really liked. Okay, sounds good, Emma. <laughs> Bedazzled. Oh, yes. Okay, so this was um, one of my my other projects. I totally forgot. Thank you, Ron. Um, this was one of my other projects that I did, where I tried to I did some uh, rhinestoning. So I rhinestoned my my brush holder and it's funny because it's like this side all the sides with no other pieces looks so good but then when it comes to brushes like okay you can see it says brushes from far away but like if I get close it gets a little like <laughs> it got like it gets a little like <laughs> because you know, like I, I chose the problem was I chose a font that was super thin. So I had to use these tiny, tiny, tiny little rhinestones. And then like to get into the places like between them, I had to use even tinier rhinestones. So it just like slowly devolved into this like, wah. <laughs> but I'm, I'm really glad that at least on camera, if I hold it really far away, you can tell what it says. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That was um, probably 10 hours of Amazon streams right there to finish that one. That was a lot. That took a really long time. But I was really happy with how it turned out for the most part. I mean, at least you can read brushes. When I first finished that, I didn't think you could even read brushes. And I was like, cool. It just says but. But then I was like, I know what it says. It's fine. 
it's fine. So yeah. Um, okay, so I'm gonna post this again. I'm gonna be annoying about it. I try really hard not to be annoying about promoting stuff because it just feels weird. But if you just came in and you feel and you use Amazon, if you don't use Amazon, that's totally cool. But if you use Amazon um, and you'd like to follow me on here, I'm trying to reach my follower goal. The last I checked, I'm gonna check again right now. Um, I was a little less than 200 people away. Yep, I'm 189 people away from the goal that I need to reach to be able to stream on the Amazon homepage, which would be super, like, really, really good. <laughs> so if you if you have a second and you can follow me on there, I'd really appreciate it. If you don't use Amazon, for whatever reasons, that's completely fine. Um, I do just appreciate you being here and hanging out with me. So yeah, um, what else can we talk about? Oh my gosh, Joy, I would absolutely love if you shared the link for me. That would mean so much. Thank you. Knives, thank you so much. Okay, so yeah, this is my my background. Let me let me walk you through it. Um, it actually looks so much different in the daytime. You can see like my stuff. Okay, so you guys have seen some of this. I mean, the, the lightning bolt's been there forever. We have LL for Leisha Land, which is Twitch, and Leisha Loves, which is Amazon. Um, since those are where I've been streaming. And this is just La Alicia, I guess. <laughs> um, we have my popsicle. We have this uh, cat wine glass, like wine bottle that Chelsea got me at some point. I just think it looks cool. Um, we have the hello signal or thing that apparently Ursula, as um, the queen of the sea, is telling you. She's standing next to Groot. We have a cactus right here. I also just got another cactus that's going to go up by where the nom wall is. That is the nom wall. Um, up here we have, I'll even zoom in for you so you can actually see who's back there. Whoa. Okay, go back here. We have a, a Minnie Mouse macaron. Get my head out of the way. We have a super cute, adorable potato that Sadine got me. We have Gigi from Kiki's Delivery Service. We have Sora, we have Mickey, and we have Goofy. We had Donald, I don't know where he went. He always falls down. And then, my favorite, this is Mushu, the manatee. He, she, why do I always think that Mushu is a boy? Oh my gosh, my camera's falling, that's really cool. Um, that's Mushu the manatee. Mushu is um, my adopted manatee that I got for my birthday from Narwhal Nation which was the coolest present I've ever got in my life. Like I opened up and they're like, we've adopted you a manatee. It's Mushu. <laughs> it's amazing. So those are my, my guys. Um, the top one that you can't even see has a um, Dole Whip. It has my gallbladder. It has um, a piranha plant. And then it has uh, some brushes. And then the Fafi Net uh, little figurines from... Mac, which literally came out probably in 2008, which is pretty crazy. Oh my gosh, no, Mushu is literally, that was the coolest, so cool, so cool. Knives asks, what would you recommend for people who want to start streaming on Twitch? What kind of equipment do you think, do you have and what's necessary? Okay, so streaming, first of all, I love streaming. Um, we streamed on Twitch last night, and it was just me, actually. Usually it's me and Paul streaming together, and we play, like, scary games and stuff, and it's super, super, super fun. So if you don't follow me on Twitch and you, like, we stream every Friday at least. Oh, no, we stream every Friday. And then if you've been around for a long time and you know Gloria Glow Pinksta, um, her and I have been doing a co-stream on Tuesdays at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and we've been playing, last time we played um, I Love You, Colonel Sanders which is this dating simulator about Colonel Sanders from KFC. And um, <laughs> and then this, starting Tuesday, we are playing um, Dream Daddy. And we do voices, and it is like full-on acting, and it's absolutely the funniest thing ever. Um, sorry, I got sidetracked. Okay, so Streamlabs OBS is what I use as far as the streaming software. I have my Canon EOS 90D, any kind of camera, like a DSLR that you can use or a point and shoot that is able to, uh, thank you, Sadine, um, that is able to get you, 
um, is able to stream is fantastic. You can use a webcam, but like, I really love using this. I mean, like, I'm streaming right to you guys and like, that's quality. Also, let's uh, fix our eyebrows a little bit, right? I need my eyebrows retattooed so bad. Oh God. Um, oh, also, hello, let's fix that. Um, yeah, Paul also found out there's this there's um, this app you can use that turns your phone into a webcam, which is really cool because webcams are being sold out like nobody's business. Um, and then what else? Um, cam link, which is what connects your camera to your computer. Um, a good mic. Having good video is great. Having good a good audio is essential. Uh, I use this baby. Not that you can kind of see it. This is the HyperX um, one. I have a section on my Amazon too. Um, if you need, like, I'm going to link it one more time. What is happening? Do I have, like, a giant cut on my nose? Oh, my gosh. My makeup looked good last night when I didn't stream it. All right, I'm posting this again. If you go to that, there is a whole section for uh, streaming. It's, like, called Techie Tech, and it has all the stuff I'm going to talk about here. But this mic is my favorite mic of all time. What's super cool about it? is one, it sounds really good. And two, if you just click the top, it'll mute. Which makes it so much easier if you, um, if like you need to mute really quickly. You don't have to like go in and click a button or anything like that. Um, so it's, I love that mic. It makes me really happy. Um, the other thing you have to just make sure is that your computer can handle whatever you're streaming. We've had so many times where we think that our, our stuff is up to par and then we'll go play a game and then all of a sudden like we're like slow motion because the computer is like, I cannot handle this. <laughs> so it's definitely um, making sure that you're capable, like that you, you can do it and starting off with like more simple things. Um, even if it's just like, I don't know, uh, steam. I don't know what Paul, Paul, what would you say is like, any other things that you need? Because I know you're here. Yeah, you find out real quick if your computer can or can't handle whatever you're trying to do. It's, uh, and also, the most important thing when it comes to streaming is to give yourself grace. Give yourself, like, leniency. Like, be, be okay with the fact that things can and most likely will go wrong. When we first started, any time that there was a techno, like a tech issue, I had a mini panic attack because I would always be worried that everyone was going to judge me and everyone was going to like freak out and all this stuff. And even today, like we streamed last night on Twitch, everything was fine. I streamed today this morning, right when it starts, there's all of this like audio issues and this, this, this and all this stuff. And you just have to go with it. You have to just go with the flow and be okay with the fact that things are probably going, there's probably going to be issues at some point. Um, yes, it comes with, it comes with the territory, roll with the punches, um, and just like, just go with it. Don't, don't get like, don't get upset. Don't freak out about it because it's going to happen <laughs> every, every single time. <laughs> Oh man, and it always like you'll think everything's good and you'll like triple check everything and then it's still like, oh, great. <laughs> oh yes, when you need to restart, yep. Or there's audio that's not coming in or like Streamlabs just decides to completely be like a complete ass. So many things and it always like, it's just... You just got to go with it and hope that your your followers, you know, be like, all right, stay, like, hang tight. Like, as long as everybody's understanding that sometimes things are just out of your control, it is what it is. Oh, my goodness. Virtual teaching. I can't even imagine. You are a superhero, Samantha. V's been in school since um, almost a month now. August, or no, sorry, July 27th is when she started her virtual uh, learning, and it's been something. Bye, Emma. Good to see you. Thanks for hanging out. Um, yeah, she's been doing the virtual class for almost a month. She's really great with it. I'm I'm very thankful that Violet seems to have, like, figured it out and, and like, she's really great with it. Um, but it's a lot. Thankfully, she's in first grade, and so I feel like it's not as much as it has, like, I've, I've heard stories about, like, 
sixth graders at her school. Her school goes up to sixth grade, and the sixth graders have different teachers for each subject and how they are in school for eight hours and how it's, like, super crazy. And Violet's only doing live, like, web classes um, for, like, an hour and a half each day, and then she has a lot of homework. So it really hasn't been too bad, but I honestly can't imagine it if it was, like, oh, my gosh, like, a whole bunch of classes and doing it all day like ugh. I like I'm getting mad at my face right now <laughs> it's like you know when you put makeup on you're like oh wait <laughs> my face looks like freaking mosaic neat neat half the kids have a hard time yeah three hour and a half blocks oh my gosh that's crazy See, if it was that long, I, I'm sure it would be a totally different story. And so I'm, I'm actually really thankful that they recognize that sixth graders are not, or sixth graders, six-year-olds are not going to sit still um, for that long. 11 different apps and websites. Oh, my gosh. V has two. She's got Canvas and then one called Seesaw. That's crazy. And what's great about Twitch is the platform has really expanded to more than gaming. Yes. Yes, Ron's totally right. Like, it's it's not just gaming. Twitch has um, a reputation, I guess, for always being um, gaming. But, like, what did we do last night? We talked about therapy and dumb stuff. I, I showed – oh, this is what I was showing. Okay. So you guys see this box, this bin, and how giant it is? It's huge. I have a bin downstairs that is this exact same one, and it is in I have, like, a full echo. Um, <laughs> it's uh, completely full, filled with makeup that I'm going to be doing as giveaways. Um, going to do them on Amazon, too. So, let me be an annoying salesman. If you can follow me here, I'm going to be doing some um, giveaways on Amazon and also on Discord, um, which I will also... Hey, I got to type this one out. Discord.gg slash Keisha Land. Is that going to actually? Okay, cool. It did link. Um, yeah, I'm going to be doing giveaways. I have like a whole bunch of boxes. There's going to be like mix, mystery boxes. Um, and you don't have to do anything except be on there. If you're on Amazon, just be like, hey, when I do a live stream and then you're like entered into it. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. But literally, I have so much makeup that I'm just wanting to give to you. Like this. Here you go. Thank you for following me. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being a friend. Yes, come hang out with us on Discord. We have so much fun stuff in VAP if you're part of Narwhal Nation or um, on Twitch. And then we're also doing a lot of stuff in the um, the other the uh, main entrance channels too. We talk a lot about uh, TV stuff and game stuff, and it's just fun. I've gotten to know so many of you so well through that, and it's just been like my favorite part of. Well, it was also last year, but mainly 2020. Like today, we're doing a movie party when I'm done streaming, and we're watching. What are we watching? I'm being forced into watching the Super Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> Hi, Amalia. I'm here. I know I took like a little break. Needed some um, clarity stuff. Yes, Discord has been super fun because it's, um, like Ron said, it's it's just great because it, it makes everything feel so much more connected. Um, when, you know, we live in a time where there's so much... Um, social media and trying to like have like a like a what is the word I'm looking for help me out <laughs> like we live in a world where so there's social media there's Facebook there's Twitter there's YouTube and all these places where you feel like you have to put on a face and you have to act a certain way or you need to like try and impress and what's so cool about di the discord is um everybody there's no there's no face to put on Everybody is raw and real and awesome. And it's such a great way to connect with people like in that way where I feel like that's how it was in like 2010. That's how it was in like, like, um, like 
back back in the day you know what i mean like nobody was trying to impress no one was doing stuff for followers you were just doing it because you loved what you were doing and that's what we've really been trying to push on discord and so if you're looking for that if you're looking for a group of people who like the same like are are like you or like that are are just there to be awesome and support and like there's no pressure and no yeah no performing for an audience and it's just awesome it's seriously so awesome. And I'm so happy to hear you guys, uh, all of you guys that are part of Nawal Nation backing me up on this. That makes me, that makes my heart want to explode because it's like, I don't want to be like, hey, come to my thing. But hearing all of you guys talk about how awesome it is makes me, it makes me so happy. It's so essential to my, <laughs> Ron, Ron, um, I was up till like 2 a.m. with Ron, Sadine, um, I'm, I don't think anyone else, Emmy's not in here, and um, Hannah's not in here, but, like, we were up until, like, 2 in the morning last night talking about, like, I don't even know what we were talking about. The, the conversations go all over the place. Joy, too. Joy was in here. Um, and it's just so fun. Like, it's so cool to get to know everybody. Like, it, it reminds me of when I first was on AOL, like, and you'd make friends, like, online friends. Like, that doesn't exist anymore. And it's just, it, it does with Discord, and I just, I freaking love it. Um, so there's that. I see some of you guys have joined since we started this, which is so cool, and I'm super excited to have you. Um, what else was I going to talk about? Hi, Katie! First time commenter. It's nice to see you. Uh, is the M, Knives is the MBTI, um, personality. Did we do that one as, we did, we've been doing, we have question of the day on Discord. And I know we did a couple of personality ones. Is that the one that's like the virtuoso? Because that's what I am, if that's what it is. The virtu virtuoso, I think is what it's called. Oh, I totally, Jolie, I totally understand. It definitely takes a little bit of time. I, I just treat it like a forum. Um, it's almost like if you took a forum and a chat room and combined them is pretty much what it is. There's a lot of different sections um, but it's, it all like, it, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but, um, any help that you need, we're always here to help because I completely understand when we started the discord last year, last June, um, I was in the same boat of being like, Paul wanted to start it. And I was like, I don't understand this. And I got like all upset, but now I love it. I can't live without it. It's the first day I check in the morning. Like I don't care about social media. Like I'm trying to get myself back into social media and stuff because I'm just like, all oh, my friends are here. <laughs> yes. It's like old, it's literally like AOL chat rooms. It, it's very much in that same vibe of, of. AOL chat rooms, but then like not, not, there's no rush to post anything. So then it has that kind of that forum aspect too, which is just nice. Every time that I want to do like, <laughs> when I want to stream and do my makeup, it's like, I cannot do both. I don't even know what I'm doing here. It's been like 18 months since I got my eyebrows done. I need them done so bad. <laughs> like, oh, I don't know how to do them without my, like, template. <laughs> Joy, oh my gosh, yeah, Joy got a new kitten today, and her name is Winnie, and she's so cute. Oh. Winona, oh my gosh, she's so cute. I freaking love kittens so much. Essentially, people just got to join the Amazon, Twitch, and Discord so we can all hang out and be friends. Or else, well, small child named Violet will cry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so that's the other thing that's so funny about Twitch. Okay, so Twitch has um, these kind of like gray area rules when it comes to um, kids being on under 13 where like they don't outright say kids can't, but they like also don't say they can. It's like really like gray. Uh, so I, we, I gotta, we gotta do a stream this week where Violet can be in it because we bought Violet, oh my god, we bought Violet a kid's green screen costume <laughs> that, co that, that covers her face. Um, Joy, I saw that too and I was like, what? And then I realized it's because Paul, um, when we, when we streamed the, the movies, he can't play his games. 
so he's streaming the movie from the laptop, which has Violet's Discord on it. Because I was like, why is Violet on here? <laughs> um, but anyways, we got her this green screen outfit so that she can be in the videos. And it's literally the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life because you just see this like figment of a, of a like, it's like, you know, in the Harry Potter movies when he's wearing the invisibility cloak, but you can still kind of like see it. That's what it's like when Violet is wearing um, the green screen outfit. It's literally just like this, like this creepy figment. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it is the funniest thing ever. So I'm going to make sure that she's on when, when we stream with Gloria on Tuesday. I'm going to make sure that she can be on the video because it it just, it kills me. It is so, so funny. And she loves it because she, she like looks like a little fool. So of course she loves it. <laughs> You're slowly tr learning to navigate Twitch. Yeah, I completely, it, it's, Anytime you have to learn a new, um, like, platform, it can be really difficult, honestly, and confusing, so I completely get it. And a lot of Twitch, especially when you go, like, when you just open the Twitch homepage, it's so, like, in your face, and um, it, it definitely took me a long time to get used to it, because it was a lot of me being like, okay, nope. <laughs> Like that Grandpa Simpson gift where he like walks in and then like immediately leaves. <laughs> but I got the hang of it and it's really fun. Twitch has a lot of goofy stuff on it. Like we do, um, we have like these little avatars that hang out on the bottom um, for everybody that's, that's a subscriber. And then we have like sound alerts that people can play that like will play goofy sounds. And there's just, there's so much. So much stuff it's a lot of fun but yeah I've definitely decided like I like streaming a lot more than planned videos because I don't like I could just you know talk with you guys instead of talk at you or talk to you in the past I don't know it makes sense in my brain probably should do some makeup So anyways, what else can we talk about? I think I'm going to use the ColourPop um, palette. I have a couple of new ones. These like tie dye pastel -y ones. Yeah, being present. Like it's just cool. It's neat to be able to talk to you guys. Um, oh, my earring's bothering me. Um like right now, you know what I mean? Instead of like reading what you're saying later. Have you tried BH Cosmetics blush palettes? Um, I don't think so. Okay, what color should we do? I'm trying to think. These ones are all like super fun and pastel -y. I love this one. This is the one I always go to. These are cute too. Maybe I'll do like both of them. I don't know. I kind of want to do like orangey. Alter Eagle. I haven't even seen that. The Artemis palette. What colors are in it? What does it look like? Oh, I don't want to do this one. I don't know what I want to do. Green crease and a coral lid. Ooh, okay. I like the way you think. We'll do that. I've been using these a ton too. This is like this uh, knock... Sorry, that was really loud. This knockoff um, Makeup Forever creamy palette. And I've been using it a lot as like a base color it really it's like really fun because it helps to make things super pop which is always fun 
like the Natasha Denona one? Hmm. I don't know. I've been so bad with keeping up with makeup stuff. Like, really, really, really bad. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like Mayron, except the Mayron ones that were like water based. This one is creamy. Um, oh my gosh, the Mayron and Krylon palettes. I had, okay, so I just bought some spray paint the other day because I was, um, we have this, this wheel that I will show you for Twitch. And this wheel, Twitch has this thing on there called uh, channel points. And you can use your channel points to spin the wheels, one of the things that we have. So I have this wheel that has things like I had to, yesterday I had to uh, dance the Macarena. And I had to try and do, a, oh, I had to draw, um, I had to draw one of my friends, like one of my French girls, French girl. Um, but I was using it because I got spray paint to make it like cute and stuff. Allie McWheel, yes. <laughs> Allie McWheel. Um, what was I getting at? Why was this related? Oh, because I had to buy spray paint, and spray paint is by Krylon, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's taking me back in uh, back in time. Hi, Kat. Hi, Amanda. It is a dry erase wheel. 35 bucks on Amazon. Absolutely worth it. Totally worth it. And then I, I resined and uh, vinyled my little spin the wheel thing. I did spray paint it and the spray paint came off. So then I was like, no. And I resined it to be super cute. Um, but yeah, 35 bucks on Amazon. It has things on here like sing Nickelback. Put on a random lipstick. Talk like Toad for one minute. I can't put this thing back on. Come on. Here we go. Talk like Toad for one minute. Oh my gosh. It's going to be my legacy, talking like Toad. <laughs> the ginger virus, hello! Have you ever tried the unicorn spit glaze? I don't know what that is, but I don't trust it. What is it? Sounds like way questionable. I want a brighter coral color. It's not what I want. Sailor Moon does have a brighter cooler. Co cooler. Cooler. Nice, Alicia. Color. When did resin become the craft of choice? Uh, <laughs> listen, I couldn't tell you. Uh, quarantine. Because I totally agree. I, I only started doing it because I kept seeing it on TikTok. Which... Let me talk a minute for about TikTok. I freaking love TikTok. And I was definitely slow to get on board with the uh, TikTok train. Oh, no. I do know what the unicorn spit is. I've seen it. I have it in my, like, one of my saved lists on Amazon. Um, and I wanted to uh, look up more about it, like, what to use it for. But it does look really, really cool. Um, so TikTok, I'm, like, obsessed with because... It, I realized that the algorithm that TikTok has is literally what I wish everything else had. Um, and I, this this was solidified for me when uh, Instagram came out with their reels. Because reels, I was like, okay, this is the same thing, but it's only 15 seconds. And every time I go into the explore page on reels, it shows me the same three people every single time. And I'm like, I don't care. Like, But with TikTok... It's always something different. I've been, I find new people. I never find new people on, on Instagram, ever. YouTube, sometimes. I'm not really like, it, sometimes. But TikTok, the amount of people that I can find that do like to find new things and, and how easy it is to find new people is so cool. It is a rabbit hole though. I can't tell you the number of days when I literally, um, It'll be like 10 and I'm like, I'm going to go to bed early. And then I'm like, I'm just going to go on TikTok for a couple of minutes. Suddenly it's 4 a.m. It's too easy. But TikTok is why I, um, why I decided to start with resin. Um, and I think it's just that people have um, time. Yes, the tumbler cups have been popular. But just resin in general, I feel like it's, it's just TikTok. And it's just something to do. Everyone's got time. That is very bright.
Say a band that reminds you of Paul's band. What band reminds you of Paul's band? Yep, it's it's so 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 addicting. But it's so fun. Like and I've le like I've learned so many cool things and like tried so much stuff. Um this is the base I was using. It's by CC Beauty. It's like a dupe of the Makeup Forever creams. I've been using this a lot lately. I really like it. You just have to be careful if you use too much cuz it will crease. So you got to make sure you blend it out and that you really cover it with um whatever powder you're using. You haven't opened TikTok in months, Sylvia? Oh my gosh. You're stronger than I am. I can't just open it and like watch three. It's always like, like I could feel my eyeballs hurting. <laughs> and I'm still like, scroll, 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 scroll. I have been so bad at wearing any makeup lately that I really don't have, um, I really don't have any favorite palettes. I've just kind of like the newer things, like the Sailor Moon palette and then these, Miss Bliss, Aura, Now, and Entrance. Those are like the newest ones that I've gotten. So that's why I'm kind of just like, here we go. I should probably move this so I'm not like looking away in the corner. It was a clip of a girl dancing. That's cute. Violet, um, <clears throat> Violet's favorite uh, music right now is definitely Poppy. She listens to Poppy like... Uh, nobody's business <laughs> she's like obsessed with it and she also loves Paul's band that's definitely always um always a given thanks Paul the burnt orange no we don't do that in this house or not in this room <laughs> I don't have time for burnt orange. <laughs> Ugh. Paul wanted to get a car. He wanted to get a truck that was burnt orange. I was like, neat. <laughs> Paul loves burnt orange. It is not, not the business. I hate it. There she is. Good morning. How was your nap you obviously took? I'm jealous of it. Actually, no, I'm not. I went. I took a nap this morning. It was Toyota orange. It was disgusting. It was gross. How are you, Jay? Jay was also someone who we were talking to until she was up, what, until like 5 in the morning? Like a crazy... Yeah, that's something else that we do um, in the VIP section. We have an after school special, um, which is a TV club. And so every month we have a different TV show that we all will watch. This month is Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> it was accidental. <laughs> I know you well. When you were up till five, I was like. I feel that, Tanya. I went to bed, at, or I actually, no, I didn't go to bed. I, I got off at 1.30 and then it was, I like couldn't sleep. I know why actually. It's because when we did Twitch last night, I was um, drinking a giant venti caramel macchiato. And so I'm. Je I don't ever think that coffee affects me that much, but clearly when you have a venti caramel macchiato at 7 p.m., it's going to make it, like, it was, like, 2.30 or 3 in the morning. I literally was laying there like this. <laughs> so, uh, that was neat. <laughs> you fell asleep during PJ stream. PJ stream was funny. I don't know 
if I like this green. Maybe I'll do not that green, different green. Mm, I need something else. That's too light. Usually, I feel like caffeine doesn't doesn't like do anything. Yeah, coffee at seven p.m. was a dis well. Okay, so it was like I was debating. I was like, okay, so do I have my my Starbucks that I paid for and didn't drink because it's not gonna taste good tomorrow, or do I have wine? I ended up having both, but chose the coffee first. This does not have what I want. I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want for a green. Maybe we'll take something from this. Hi, Anne. I am here. I just took a little break. Needed to uh, come back with fresh eyes. The green color. Ooh, ooh, that's a pretty color. I like like this one is kind of what I'm thinking, but it's like too light. So I'm trying to see what I have that I don't have to get up to get because I don't want. No, I'm just gonna, I'll get these. I think this will work. What my goal, oh, so um, I forgot that I had that in the, uh, in the description. Where is my mouse? There it is. So I'm trying to reach a goal on Amazon um, for my, for followers. So I will link my thingy again right here. So if you have Amazon, if you use Amazon, if you guys don't mind, um, if you just click that and you can click follow, I would really appreciate it. I'm trying to hit my goal um, I need to hit a goal of 2,000 followers, and right now I'm at 1832. So I'm pretty close. Um, I just want to hit that goal. I do uh, live streaming on Amazon. I didn't last week, actually. Last week was the first week in a long time I haven't, but I only did one last week. But I try and do them uh, almost every weekday, and we play all we do all sorts of stuff. I have played Paper Mario. I do beauty stuff, hair stuff. I do cooking, all sorts of stuff. Cat, thank you. I made it myself. That's been like, oh, that's been like the funniest thing for me is doing tie-dye stuff. And um, the next thing I want to try doing is um, I, I did one shirt that was reverse tie-dye where you bleach it. So it was like, a, like I didn't really know what I was doing. So the shirt kind of broke down a little bit, but I want to try doing that. And then I want to re-dye it. So it's like black and then like bright colors. Oh, it looks so cool. Amanda, thank you so much. That means the world to me. I really appreciate it. Um, we're going to be doing some giveaways on Amazon too if you do want to follow and you turn on those notifications so that you get a notification when I go live. Thank you, studying. I forgot to mention that. Um, I was saying earlier that I have oh, this giant box, this giant Tupperware storage container that is like huge. I have one downstairs that is filled to the brim with makeup and so I want to be doing um giveaways for you guys because I literally is sitting there and it's it's imp I, I want you to have it so um we're going to be doing giveaways on that and on discord just literally you just have to be there and be active and be talking and stuff and then you have a chance to win you don't have to do anything else do you need a big basin for tie-dye no actually so what I've been doing one day I'm going to finish my makeup <laughs> Tanya what are you doing Oh, I love you, Tanya. Look at that cute pair. Um, <laughs> for tie-dye, literally all you need is like just a little bit of counter space or like um, some space. On, I, I have like um, a silicone mat that I put down and then you tie-dye so it doesn't um, stain your table or anything and then you put it into like a plastic bag and that's it. You just have to hang out with me in Discord. You don't have to do anything. You're already entered 8,000 times, Jay. Don't worry. <laughs> um, okay, can I explain Discord like you're five? So pretend that you and a bunch of friends 
got together in a circle and got to talk all of the time, no matter what time of day or night it was. And you got to talk about like the food that you're eating or you get to talk about like things that you're scared or you're, you need support or you need help or you get to just talk with your friends about anything, or you get to play games with your friends, and you can, like, really become really good friends with them without having to go to their house. That's what Discord is. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it's basically AOL, um, yeah, I, uh, I, I can't, okay, thank you, Paul, I'm like, my, my keyboard is hidden right now from makeup. Um, yeah, it's like AOL chat room and message board, and it's, just awesome there's all these different channels and you could talk about all sorts of things we have sections for like to post your dogs we have question of the day we have tv movie memes um games all sorts of stuff there's a whole animal crossing section uh it's just basically like if you miss the days of like really getting to learn like getting to know online friends and not just being like like how social media is now where it's like you follow people and you like they're up here and you're down here and you're following them and you're watching everything that they do if you want to be on that same playing field that's what discord is or that's what our discord is and it's like live journal absolutely it's a, like it's like live journal communities where everyone is on the same playing field and you're getting to um you're getting to know people who are interested in the same things that you are and you're getting to have a place for support and people that that want to get to know you and be friends and and there's voice chat yes and there's voice chat and there's screen chat. i mean today we're doing movie party watching super mario brothers like there's just so much stuff so it's just like it's a really cool place if you guys join please do not be shy please Feel free to talk about whatever you want and be open and active. Everyone there is very, very supportive. Everyone there is very, very welcoming. And we would absolutely love to have you. Oh, thank you, uh, Brie Brenux. Sylvia, I have no idea. <laughs> City knows I don't. <laughs> Is that a haunted mansion chair? You know what? It totally does. I think, what is it called? Damask, I think is what it's called. Um, I got it because I am a sweaty human and leather makes me sweat like nobody's business and I hate it. Hi, T. Rose. Welcome. Is it introvert friendly? Very, very much so. If you don't want to post anything, you don't have to. If you want to, if you want to lurk and just hang out, totally cool. I am very guilty of being on my own Discord and lurking and not posting. <laughs> so everybody is super welcome everybody like we just we really like it has been my saving grace this year I don't know if I like this green and it's fun too because even if you are introverted and you want to come into the um hangout chats for example and you don't want to talk that's totally fine or if you just want to listen and then type out responses totally fine there's absolutely no judgment at all it is a great place to um to just hang out lurk whatever whatever you're comfortable with no judgment at all you've never had anyone do your makeup i've only had my makeup done a handful of times and i cannot think of a time where i was happy with it <laughs> Hi, Melidori. Um, so the orange is from the Sailor Moon palette from ColourPop. And then I'm using this CC Beauty like cream colors is the base. And then this, now I'm trying to use the um, Mar palette from ColourPop. It's the 2020 answer for folks who need social activity, but at a level you can control and won't feel pressure. Yes, that is possibly the best way to describe it it's it's on your terms it's it's like if if you join and you want to be super active and post all this stuff great if you want to just lurk and watch but feel like connected great <laughs> like th there's no there's no expectations um but like i just want you know to reiterate that if you do want to be more open you do want you know you do want to post stuff everybody is super welcoming and everybody's super super cool Hi, Leslie. Yay, thank you so much for following. 
can I do a video on how to dye your hair without having a nervous breakdown? Okay, so this actually, I got it professionally done because I did dye my hair. It went south. Had not quite a nervous breakdown, but had a little bit of a breakdown um, and ended up just needing to go get it done professionally because it was like I needed to like wave the white flag because it was not happening. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and then also Discord has really fun emotes. Like, there's one of me as um, the truffle tree from the Lorax. There's one of Paul in drag. That was a fun thing we did on Discord. Maybe, or not Discord, on Twitch. Maybe we'll do that here, too. Um, doing Paul, doing drag on um, Paul was so fun. And I know he'd be 1,000%. Hi, Gloria! Oh, my gosh, I was just talking about you. And how we're going to be streaming together on Tuesday. And I'm so excited about it. Get to do more, um, more voices. Gloria, what kind of voices are you going to do for your daddies? Sylvia, he totally did. <laughs> it was, I was like, I was like, okay. I just put coffee straight up in the coffee machine and not in the little basket the grounds are supposed to go. And Annie, it happens. I've been having, uh, since literally, you guys, like, I was so on the cold brew train until I did that video in, like, March where I talked about the instant coffee. Um, and I've had instant coffee, like, every day since. Not even lying. Bye, Amanda. Thank you so much for hanging out. Hope to see you on Amazon or Discords or anywhere else soon. Yeah, Gloria and I are going to do a stream on Tuesday, and we're going to play Dream Daddies. And, um, yeah, I think we need to, like, really see the characters to get an idea, to get, like, inspired for what we <laughs> want their voices to be. <laughs> hey, Emmy! Hi, Jenna. Oh, thank you so much. I just got a cut yesterday. I got a cut and she like curled it or whatever. So I'm like, it's one of those things where I'm like, oh, it looks cute. But like, I don't know how it's going to look once I actually leave my hair. It's a natural state. Exercising your cheeks. Oh my God. I know, right? I wasn't prepared when we did our first stream two weeks ago. I was not prepared with how funny it was going to be. Um, and it absolutely destroyed my, my voice. I had like, oh my gosh. I was like, I hope people don't think I'm like coming down with like the Rona because I was like coughing so much because I just doing those voices was giving me like all of the grossness in my throat. <laughs> oh man. Yes. Leisha and I basically talk sexy to each other for two hours while Paul narrates. That's what the stream is. Gloria was the main character and I was Colonel Sanders. I was trying to sound like Bill Compton. <laughs> Gloria. Oh my gosh. So funny. So funny. Like that's literally my like favorite thing lately. It's such a mess. It perfectly personifies what I try and be on like Leisha Land everywhere. Just like so st like stupid fun. And that's what Gloria Tuesdays is. <laughs> Gloria Tuesdays <laughs> is stupid fun. And I live for it. It makes me so happy. Gloria, no, I was talking about uh, somebody said that they were from Scotland earlier. And I was like, you showed me that you were, it was like bright as hell out outside at 10 at night. And it blew my mind. <laughs> it was like, what the heck? How is it so bright at 10 at night? I don't know how, like, I guess, well, I guess you would need to have, like, um, eye mask, that's the word, blanking, really, cool, um, an eye mask so that you could sleep, because I, I don't know, I need, like, pitch black darkness, 
Hi, Jessica. Welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. This is the first one I've done in a long time. I'm going to do them. Maybe we'll make it like a Saturday thing because it's really fun. This to me is so much more fun to talk to you guys than, than doing planned videos, although I probably should do those too. Violet's awesome. She is not home right now. Um, she's over at my parents' house. She's coming home in a little bit, but she is doing really well. She's doing, you know, the remote learning and all that stuff. And, um, yeah, she just turned six in June, which is nuts to think about. Like, for real, what the heck? How is she, how is she six? My brain can't, like, I can't accept that she's that old. She's the little, like, what does she do? She plays Minecraft and Roblox. Now she plays Roblox, but she's, like, been into Minecraft for, like, ever that's the business yep she's six isn't that like isn't that so crazy it it's it, it can't i know six six and sassy absolutely so it's so weird she's a little human Almost seven years ago. Yeah, isn't that nuts? It doesn't feel like it's been that long. It's like, it for real blows my mind. Hi, Hollyhocks. Thank you. I know, no long time, no YouTube. We are back. We are back and realizing we don't remember how to do makeup. <laughs> like, I have no idea what I'm doing and it looks like ass the end <laughs> at least I can admit it Woo! And I'm dropping stuff nothing has changed nothing at all whoa that was a lot more not the color that I was thinking of I just like I wear makeup never because where am I going <laughs> That's why I've just been trying like other stuff lately. <laughs> Two colors. Yeah. I don't know. We will figure it out. What advice do you have for someone who is starting to starting a channel these days? Um, I don't even know. The main thing I think would be is you need to do it because you want to, not with with absolutely zero expectations. If you're going to start a channel, you do it because it's something that you love to do. You do it because you want to learn how to create videos. You do not do it expecting to get famous expecting to get followers if you go into it with want like expecting to get free things if you go into it with those thoughts it's not worth it and you will hate it you you cannot enjoy it it has to be because it's something just fun that you want to do okay that helped and ignore trolls yes it's hard. It's like I've been doing this for so long and I still sometimes like it's very rare. I'm very lucky because I don't get a lot of of mean comments. Um, but every once in a while there will be one that will stick with me and it will really bother me. And um, it's definitely like you got to realize that like the thing that, that I have done that helps a lot is that I try and think about it in the sense that People will talk about you the same way they will talk about like the Kardashians or the or or anyone else that's on TV because you, you are not a real person to them. You you are someone that is on YouTube and there is this there is this like glass partition between you. So them talk like people talking crap. They don't realize that you're actually a human being behind that. So I try and get myself like to realize like have I ever said shit about 
famous people or been like, oh, I can't believe they look like this. Oh, I can't believe like this is this. I try and like think about it like that. Like I say it not thinking about if they heard it and would hurt my, would it hurt their feelings if they heard me saying what I say? Probably. So I try and like, I don't know. I try and think about it like in that way. I hope it makes, I don't know if that makes sense. I'm, sometimes my brain is just like this. I think giving people is don't because the platform has changed. <laughs> yes, Gloria, like we're in the same boat of being like streaming is so much more fun because it's like you get to, you you don't have to put on a face. You can be just you. Do what you want to do. Not have to, not have to have like this full on edited bullshit trying to pretend that you're something you're not. You know what I mean? And I, I feel like that's so... That's so much more fun at this point. I don't want to like tell someone not to do something if they want to. I mean, you can still have fun, just don't have expectations. Amalia, that's a perfect exa example. Yes, they don't realize that the glass is coarse and their words sometimes get through. Totally. Missing old school YouTube without the crazy expectations. That's what streaming has been for me. It's just been like, I don't have to... It, because there's so much more like realness and there's so much more like ability for things to be like it's it's not manufactured like a regular YouTube video where you can edit and you can show only what you want to show with streaming it's raw you're here you're watching me completely not kill this makeup look <laughs> it looks a little bit better now that I added the the red in the outer corners I will give myself that it, it it's a little bit better you shut the fuck up, Ron. <laughs> oh my god, Ron. <laughs> oh my god. You don't shit. Oh my god. Oh, that made me laugh. <laughs> um... Glorious, you, exactly though, the mindset's changed. We're here, it's like, let's get famous and get free things. Exactly. Dude, that's kind of like, um, I'm gonna do a fun, I'm gonna do black and then I'll add some fun color on top. I need some separation of my non-existent eyelashes. Um, yes, that's, that's the thing is like, I don't, I get so annoyed on Twitter. Like, I love Twitter, but like, when I go on Twitter and I see, um, people replying to like a brand or I see this and all they're doing is just promoting their own pictures and like stuff like that like literally all I see in my head is somebody being like please give me likes please give me likes and I'm like no I'm not giving you likes it just makes me so mad <laughs> because it's so not genuine like Really? It just, it drives me out of my mind. And I feel like that's the way people think that they need to get, like, they, they, they only exist for likes. And I'm so over that thought process. Thank you, Leslie. I made it myself. I also have gotten really pissed off because I'll go into Joann's. This shirt's from Joann's. And um, also, does anyone else call it Joann's when it's Joann? I can't call it Joann. It sounds too weird. Um, so I went into Joann's, the shirt's from there, it was like, I don't know, $9 or something, and it feels like butt, but I could go to Target, and I could get, um, I could get one of their, like, nice universal thread, so soft shirts for seven bucks, and so, like, why? Like, it makes me angry. Why did I buy this for more when it feels like shit? When I could get, like, a really cute, more fitted shirt that's not just, like, this is just, like, a giant universal shirt. No influencer like self promotions on their posts. It's so rude. Exactly. It's it's in it's it is turning it on, like it's taking someone else's platform and turning it on yourself, and it's so frustrating to me because it's so like rude, and it's selfish and it's it makes me be like I don't care how good you are at makeup. You can no no, um what folding method? Okay, so this one, I don't know what is this one. There's a lot going on here. Uh, okay, I could tell. 
right here. <laughs> Which boob is it? Um, this one was just the twisting one, but the one I also really like doing is the the one where you like I start in the like a diagonal, so I start in a corner and I'll kind of like crunch it up into like a long line um, with a bunch of folds, and then I twist it up into a spiral. That one I do a lot, and that creates like this gradient from top to bottom, which looks really cool. Jackie, I totally, totally understand that. Yeah, that's what it just, Instagram just doesn't feel like, it's not genuine. And I think that's also why I like TikTok a lot, where I'm just like, it, it you can be like a fool. Also cannot talk. What the heck? This just had a whole bunch of, Oh my, I just used this and now it's dried up. Those comments where people post something funny, they get a lot of likes and they edit a comment saying, okay. <laughs> or they like push their SoundCloud, like whatever, that's fine. It's almost a joke at this point, but I'm, I just, I just hate when it's like, I don't know. What I hate most is when companies will be like, oh, we're looking for new people to send PR to. And then it's all of these people who are just like, look, I know how to put makeup on my face and edit a photo. I'm like, because then you see their true colors. Like they're only doing this because they want free makeup. I started this because I wanted to help people and I wanted to learn how to do makeup and I wanted to learn and, and be able you heard their sound clap. I wanted to be able to, you know, get into something that everyone else could get into and feel like a community. And it's really shitty when you see how many people are only worried about themselves. And that was one of the things I think that, like, that was the main reason that we started Discord was because I was so tired of feeling alone. And Twitch, and especially the Discord, has made it so I don't feel alone anymore. I don't feel like I'm just here by myself. And anytime I would go to, like, influencer events or anything like that, literally, I hated it. Because I couldn't tell who actually wanted to be my friend or who was there to see. To Like, you could literally go into these influencer events and you could see the people that were, like, sizing everyone up. Seeing who they knew that they could get a photo with to hopefully have them push the photo and that they could get more followers and when you're in a place where you're seeing people constantly sizing you up and putting putting a worth like over like a number over your head of how much you are worth to them is disgusting and it feels disgusting so I'm fucking I'm just over it I'm fucking over it and so that's what that's like coming back to YouTube now I'm literally like not worried about if shit if, if videos don't do great I don't care I'm gonna do what I like to do I'm gonna hopefully ha find an audience that also likes what I want to do and I'm not gonna worry about anyone else because I'm fucking over it I don't care like I literally don't care and I mean honestly like that's why finding this like community and actually embracing this community has been such like and by community I mean like on discord narwhal nation um Twitch, stuff like that has been just a godsend for me because it is literally like what it was back in the day with live journal and stuff like that where you are you are friends with people because they're awesome not because they can get you something and that's like that's what youtube is now is is you is people like collabs and stuff is not about finding people that you're friends with it's about who can get you more and I don't want more. I just want genuine. Oh my gosh, thank you. Need No need to know. That makes me happy. You guys have been around for so long. It's amazing. You guys are, are awesome. That makes me so happy. Yes, it's not the same. And that's why I'm just like... If that's what some people want to do, if they want to just worry about who can get them what, that's fine, but that's not for me. Um, it's not something that I want to put my energy into. I don't want to create fake friendships. I want genuine friendships. I want to be able to get to know people genuinely. Um, and that's what um, the inside of America's hot pocket, what? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> the inside of <laughs> Oh my 
my god, that's so funny. Arizona is the inside of American Hot Pocket. It's not a lie. I don't blame you. I don't leave the vicinity of my home, the air conditioning. But Jenna, honestly, get on our Discord. That's that's like we've been it, it's it is the most fun. I am literally on there every day. It is the easiest way to to hang out for real. <laughs> I don't regret getting to know some of you, Jay. You better not be talking about yourself. Jay and Sadine um, have been part of Discord and Leisha Land since the absolute beginning last year. Um, and they have seen it through all of the things and they are absolutely fantastical people. And um, I do not regret anything. I'm so happy that you guys are a part of it. All of you, Tanya, uh, Sylvia, who else is still here? Annie, everybody, everybody that is a part of it has been such a cool impact on my life in like such an awesome way. You guys all bring something different to the table that has just been like the coolest thing to see and getting to know all of you guys and what your interests are and being able to like share that. I love you all. Yes, Jenna, do it. Twitch is so fun. Um, and congratulations on getting engaged. That's amazing. Did the tattoo on my fork, this one? No, this one wasn't bad. Um, I think the worst one for me was my back. My back hurt the most. Uh, also, this little dude, he was a bitch. I love him, but he was a bitch. These, cake, absolute cake. I am dying to get another tattoo, by the way. Like, I am absolutely dying to get a tattoo. <laughs> congrats, congrats. <laughs> I just joined this, why does Paul need an adult? <laughs> why? <laughs> Oh, Paul hasn't changed. Paul, you should change your name. I don't know what to. Paul's had help. I need an adult for a long time. You only want tattoos in painful spots like your feet or your ribs. I, okay, so what else do I want to get? I have like a list. I need a Harry Potter tattoo. Um, I still am not sure what I want to do because I absolutely will not get always and I will not get the Deathly Hollow symbol. Those are just not for me. Um... Men never stop seeing me kill. <laughs> um, yes, what Ron said. They're easy to navigate once you get the hang of it. If you have any questions, we have like a we have a help desk section. If you need any help with anything, um, that we can help you with. If you need help posting places or anything like that, um, anything that you need help with, we are we are there to help you. Um. You want to get a howler? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I talked to Paul about this. He's like, I want to get a Thestral. And he made like this whole argument of why it would be a meaningful tattoo. And I was like, oh my God, I don't, I just want, I just want a fucking, I just want one. I don't have a reason. Um, oh, I want a Lapras tattoo because Lapras is my favorite Pokemon. I love Lapras more than anything. Um, what else? This is my like movie arm or it will be because I've got my heart of the ocean. I've got my little dudes here. I want a Neverland tattoo right here. Um, yeah, I want a Neverland. Oh my gosh, thank you, T Rose. Yes, this one I've been I that was my uh, for Patreon. My street team shirts this this past month are uh, tie dye, um, and I did screen printing too. Don't love screen printing like at all, but uh, the tie dye was fun. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know what I want to do. I, I saw this really cool tattoo that was, um, it said Obliviate and it was kind of like distorted and I loved it, but I'm like, I don't know how that would hold up because it was like all over the place. Um, so 
I've been debating if I want to do that, T Rose. If I want to, if I want to do, I have all this like I, I'm like okay, like the resin cups, for example, like this one I made for my brother. Um, I have all these ideas for things that I want to like potentially sell. Tie dye is absolutely on there. I will keep you posted because it definitely is on there because I'm like I really love doing this and I think that it could be something that would be super fun if people also are interested in it. Um, oh my gosh, I got lost in the, in the stuffs. I like makeup channel and I have become a source of income, but I don't want to be entangled with people who would size me up and use me. Yeah, seriously, like that's what sucks about it is, is you never know about like what people's intentions are. It makes me sad. Um, how's the baby? She's six years old. Six. How crazy is that? Six. What the fuck? I can't. I can't. Um, oh, we were talking about tattoos. Yeah, I want a Harry Potter tattoo. I don't know what I want for, like, as a Harry Potter tattoo. And this has been, like, an, an like, thing I've been trying to figure out for a very, very long time. <laughs> um, you want to get a little tattoo just to see what it's like? Okay, yes. So, like, this was my first one, right? Just the black, uh, the Kingdom Hearts tattoo. That was the first one. It sucked. I hated it. Um, realized it was because the guy who did it was like digging into my arm. I'm not getting a Dudley tattoo. You can, you could stop right there, Paul. Um, then I got the outline, the watercolor on it and it was awesome. And then it just went from there because it is just, it is absolutely, um, a downhill. It's a snowball. Once you get one, it's like, oh, even what, even after I got this one and it sucked and it was so bad, I was like, oh, but I could get like a key blade and I could get this and this and this. It's just a snowball effect. Then you want everything. I also, oh, you know what else I want to get? I want to get on my leg. I want to get right um, here. I want to get a jellyfish, but it's a, made of a whole bunch of tiny little pictures of different sea creatures. So, like, it would take up a whole bunch of space. So it would be shaped as a jellyfish, but it would be a whole bunch of small pictures of different sea animals. I absolutely love sea animals and I hate going in the ocean. Isn't that funny? I hate the ocean. Like I will not, I hate the beach. <laughs> I know she's six. It's crazy. If I'm still on, she's supposed to get home at like three. I don't know if I'm still gonna be on because we're gonna be doing movie party soon on Discord, but yeah, she's she's uh, six. Ladies always start with the wrist, do, they, do we? I don't know, Paul and I have matching ones. Um, we had like, I don't know if I've, I've really, I know I've talked about it a lot of places. I don't know if I've talked about it on here, but we got like secret married before we got like had a wedding and we got secret married in Vegas. It wasn't really secret. Well, it was kind of secret. Um, and then the day after is when we got our tattoos and so we have matching ones. Have you any advice for doing lives? Um, go with the flow. Things will go wrong. Things always go wrong. And, um, yeah, just, just go with it. Super, you have to be, like, willing to, like, deal with the punches and, or roll with the punches because things will go wrong. They always do. And be yourself. Absolutely. You saw uh, on Facebook that it's a thing to get on the wrist. I always thought that was, like, the, the back of the, your back, like, your lower back. But I have no idea. Ever since you mentioned Secret Wedding. Yeah, we, we got married at some, like, like popcorn ceiling Vegas drive through place. It was so silly. Um, but it was, it was ours, pretty much. And then we were able to have, like, a big wedding later on that was super fun. And there was no, like, worries or expectations or anything like that. It was just fun. Um, I would never get Paul's name tattooed on me. Paul would never get my little wedding chapel. That's what it is. Paul would never get my name tattooed. I would rather have it be something like for us. We have these ones. They are Kingdom Hearts. If for some reason something happened, I still love Kingdom Hearts. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. So like it, it's still meaningful outside of that. But writing a name. No. Sorry, Paul. I wouldn't let you do that anyways. 
I've debated getting a Keyblade for sure. Or getting a Sora added onto this since I've got Mickey, Donald, and Goofy. Getting Sora like right here. Like a cute little, little chibi Sora to add on to the, these little dudes. I don't know. I'm just like itching. I'm like, I'm like, I just really want a tattoo. You haven't seen me stream since vlog TV. Gabby will, first of all, welcome. Second of all, have I got news for you? I actually stream all of the time. Um, just, I haven't been streaming on here. So I'm going to post this again. Um, okay. So I'm looking like if you guys have Amazon, oh my gosh, I've just not been a link. That would have been really frustrating. Okay. Maybe it is a link. Um, was it not a link before? Was I doing this wrong the whole time? I'm going to be so mad if I was. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I actually stream on Amazon uh, almost, or I try to stream almost every weekday. And um, the, so I stream on there. So you can follow me on there. I'm trying to hit a goal of um, 2,000 followers on there. And I'm super, super, super close. Thank you so much, Tanya, for letting me know. Um, I'm super close. I'm, I've got 150 left. Uh, so if you can follow me on there, I stream all the time. I also stream on Twitch all the time. But I'm going to start doing more streaming on uh, YouTube as well because it's really fun. And I like talking to you guys. Thank you so much for following Couch Patch. I really appreciate it. Ooh, a traditional moth. That's cool. Thank you guys. I really, I honestly, it means so much to me because if I hit that goal, I get to stream on the Amazon homepage, which will be incredibly awesome and will be really helpful for me. Um, and the, the streams are really fun. Honestly, we stream like all sorts of stuff. Like there's, there's been lots of cooking ones. There's been beauty ones. There's been uh, Paper Mario is probably what I'm going to play later tonight because <laughs> I'm at the end and I want to beat it. Um, also, Paper Mario is just super fun if you have a switch in general. I'm like, I love it. Good morning, C. I wonder if Violet's going to be home soon so she can say hi to you guys. She's probably going to be home soon. Got to wrap it up soon. 15 under 15 items that'll change your life. <laughs> I see those on TikTok a lot where it's like, um, it'll be like the best Amazon items. And they're always these weird, obscure things you didn't realize that you needed. And then you get them and you're like, oh, I do need this. This is amazing. <laughs> Paper Mario is really fun. Really, 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 really fun. Um, I've like... Honestly, I, I've never played any other Paper Marios. I'm just playing the Origami King. I didn't play it before, so I didn't know what to expect. Um, but now I kind of want to get other Paper Marios because this one has been like my favorite RPG game that I have played in such a long time. And um, yeah, Sherry, so if you're a sucker for Amazon videos, definitely make sure that you come to my streams on Amazon Live because it's... Uh, it's super, super fun, and we play, um, we do, I talk about all sorts of stuff. All sorts of stuff. My life is Amazon. All right, guys. I think we're going to wrap it up today um, just because we are going to be doing a movie party over on uh, Discord for VIP, so I got to go over there. We're starting that really soon. Um, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for the past hour and a, how long have I been streaming? An hour and a half? Hour and 45 minutes. Wow, almost two, two hours. Okay, I'm going to check out the Paper Mario the Thousand. Is it on Switch? Can I get it on Switch? Because if I can, I will. Because I've absolutely been loving this one. Um, so I'm definitely going to gonna check that out. But yeah, okay, so one more time. If you haven't followed me on Amazon really 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 would appreciate it and then um oh my gosh i have so much stuff in front of me i'm trying to link the discord it's on gamecube no i was hoping there was like a port https discord gg maybe slash land if you want to join our discord um highly recommend it and if you need any help trying to navigate everything we got you 
Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me this afternoon. Um, I will for sure be back on here with videos very, very soon, and we will be doing more live streams because it's just really fun. It's a great way to talk to you guys, and I really love talking to you all and stuffs and things. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm going to put, um, I don't know, I know YouTube's a little bit delayed with when it shows stuff. So I'm going to put my stream ending thing on right now, which says something about Amazon because it's my Amazon stream one. But anyways, thank you guys um, so much for hanging out. It was great to see you all again and uh, we'll talk soon. Bye.